Hello again to everyone. I haven't posted a video in a couple days because I was testing my new camera. I need to get used to it. But today's video will be shot with the new Panasonic V7. So today I will show you the inside of the Macintosh MX4000 and the MDA4000 Dash. This setup is a step up from the Macintosh MX406. It comes in three parts. Head unit with the DC-DC converter and the MDA4000 external digital to analog converter. So the way this setup works is a bit strange, but I will explain. Like all Macintosh head units, this MX4000 doesn't have internal amplifiers. But this head unit doesn't even have internal digital to analog conversion. Because that is taken care of by the MDA4000. But the strange thing is that how they are connected. So the MX4000 acts like a digital source unit. So you have only digital output. So the digital audio wire goes to the MDA4000. The signal gets converted and then via analog RCA cable goes back to the MX4000 to have volume and tone control. Then you have two pairs of output RCAs from the MX4000 to go to your amps. And in a case where you have your amps and MDA4000 mounted in the trunk that leads into a lot of wiring front to back. Other thing is that the digital wire for this are optical and they have a special plug on both ends. So this wire tends to break and it's hard to get. So usually I convert that cable to a coax one. That solves the problem. Okay, so now we have the MX4000 taken apart and clearly you can see that something's missing here. You can compare this board to MX406. I will post a link of it below. So this is where the DACs are located in the MX406, but they are missing here. Another thing is that you have second input section near the AUX section for the analog output from the MDA4000. Other than that, these boards are pretty much the same. This one has a bit different caps around the op amps, but that changes during the manufacturing years. So next I will open the MDA4000 and show you what we have there. Ok, so now you can see why in this setup we have an external digital to analog converter. Inside we have another separate DC-DC converter for the DAC. Because Macintosh had a lot more space, they used better parts. The PCM1702 DAC are still the same, but they have made it better with the, one of the best AD797 op amps, Elna Silmic and Sanyo capacitors good relays and so on to have a better sound reproduction than the MX406 models or other competitors. Besides not so logical wiring, this Macintosh setup is still one of the favorites in high-end car audio world. And it's been around for more than 20 years. So I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, you can find many more content of great audio gear on my Facebook group, you can find the link below. And I hope to see you next time. See ya!